Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome back to Building a Venator Week 3. We're already on Week 3, which is crazy, and we got so much done, which is why I'm covering it with this chair, because this was an absolutely insanely productive week. Today, we are going to be working on the huge entire wall back structure, getting that completely finished, getting the center, like, you know, ramp finished. We get that all worked on, obviously, you know, last time we were working a bit on the ramparts, uh, which was fantastic. The ramparts are the walls. And this part, we work on the entire the bridge area. That's what I like to call it, uh, the overhang. And then on top of that, we also finish the windows above it. So it is really starting to come together in this episode. It is looking insane. And I want to give a huge thank you to the series sponsor, Clone Army Customs, uh, for, you know, obviously they're going to be providing some minifigs and stuff later on in the series. And also, I just want to say thank you guys for the continued support on the series. This has been super fun, and I want you to vote in the comments below. Uh, you know, like the comment that has the most, you know, uploads. Like, which character do you want to see in the thumbnail next week? Do you want to see Bosk? Do you want to see Chewie? Do you want to see, uh, Anakin? Well, we already had Anakin. Over. You need to choose someone that we haven't had in the thumbnails. We already had Yoda, Dooku, maybe Grievous. That would be cool. A Darth Maul? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that is epic. But with that said, uh, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and also check out all the links down below. And let's get right on into the video. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I was sorting through a bunch of bricks, and I ended up finding loads of these, which will be great for our, like, you know, walls and stuff. I also found a, a variety of these curved pieces. I made a few short, again, of these specific pieces. Um, but yeah, so the plan today, as you know, is the big overhang, or I don't even know 100% what to call it, hallway, something. Uh, so yeah, so the plan is we're going to get two windows on this side, we have to build it up, obviously, uh, from the ground. And I'll see about how high that goes. This needs to be built up as a main wall. I'm going to be leaving this a little open, mainly like like this, uh, because this is where like the little control panel goes. And then, you know, that's a detail we cover later on. We're working on the basics right now. Um, but yeah, so first off, we're gonna build this up a little bit and I'll try to see how much I cover. I have all these curved pieces here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them like that or not. I know there is that type of design on the battlefront map and, and you know it kind of the whole thing is a little confusing uh you know the way we're gonna carry this my plan is to get a brick with one of the clips or i'll put a technic pin in and you know i'll have that line up here uh and you know i don't want it to go too high i want it to be even so i'm going to build this across first and then after we do that uh, you know we'll get to everything else so i'll get back once i've you know worked on some techniques and i'll show you guys what i've been doing hey guys so we're back uh, I did get a lot of work done here. A, a lot of work done here, rather. Uh, yeah, it's looking great. I'm really liking the way everything's turning out. Um, the big thing I'm going to need to order is grill pieces. I want to get some grill pieces down here. I'm not, I need some maroon ones, mainly. I'm also going to need some dark gray grill pieces for on here. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on the platform. I've been retooling some stuff from over here, mainly. Uh, I have this, and I did end up leaving those pieces there. I'm just leaving a solid wall structure there. I might, you know, bulk that up later. We'll wait and see. Uh, this is a nice, loose platform. Platform, but I did have the hinges set up and it leans nice and firmly you know you don't have to worry too much you know figures will stand uh, just fine and, and I think that looks really really nice uh, you know you look over and around you know the bridge looks nice and they can walk right on over no problem whatsoever uh, right now I'm bulking this up so I'm going to build this up and make it a firm platform I need to get this platform way more solid uh, down and then also I need to peel off some tiles off of these old things uh, from this like clone traders mock thing and yeah uh, and it's looking pretty pretty good and i'm really really happy with how it's coming and i'll keep you posted also we got four of these uh, separate things built which is nice and we'll probably be doubling up uh, there'll probably be some right above them uh, you know and i also did build up these walls too uh, which you'll notice and yeah so i'm gonna keep going and i'll keep you guys posted again okay so we are really stacking up now it is getting very very clean uh so yeah so again i'm having for and i have a serious problem with these bricks but then they always keep popping back up uh so yeah anyway here we do have the two hallway ones technically there are four uh, of these and these are supposed to be a little bit larger but i think it works just fine obviously we're going to be tiling down the floor all nice and fancily uh i still haven't completely been able to finish this it's a little uneven so i might have to go back in and redo it a bit um but overall it is coming out very very nicely uh you know I don't know if it feels a little wide. It kind of does. I, you know, I could have probably done it a bit thinner. 
um, just because, you know, it feels probably like maybe about this big, but eh, I, I, I like it. It is a nice big thing. <laughs> you just really get a great feel uh, for the mock overall, and I cannot wait to, you know, work on this. But the main structural build is almost done. Uh, now, on top of that, I'd also eventually, because, you know, once I'm done with this, I don't need any more gray bricks, so I just stack it up and make it as tall as I really want, um, which would will be epic, and um, that's really the plan. And then after that, you know, big details, big stuff, I'll keep it all posted. Hopefully, we'll get this entirely done this episode. I've been grinding hard at work, you know, since it's summer break and whatever, I've had a lot more time to work on it, and it's coming together very, very well. Okay, guys, it's been a hot minute since I've worked on the mock. Basically, uh, we have a small problem here, and that is that I cannot... Like, this is very uneven. I'm just going to basically be redoing this. And then after that, I'm going to see if I had find the bricks to finally complete this whole section. Uh, you know, obviously, we need all of those uh, type curve pieces. Uh, so I'm going to be, like, going through, seeing if I find those. And, yeah, then after that, we're probably going to build this wall up a bit more. And then we'll be done. And then because we'll have the main layout done, and maybe I'll even, like, you know, tile it up a little higher even. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, I'll keep you all posted. First off, I'm going to work on the floor. And I think I might do a time lapse. Let's see. So we've got a lot done. I set up this little fun battle in here. Uh, yeah, so the plan is we're going to have all the heroes. We're going to have Bosk, Grievous, uh, Dooku, obviously. So each thumbnail, you'll see like a different hero, I guess. Uh, Chewie, probably even. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a load done. This entire top part, this is as high as it's going to get. The entire structure. Now, the reason this is a little inverted is because that's where we're going to put the little, like, you know, command post thing that you have to capture uh also we have the ramp it's gonna flow nicely we're gonna tile this all off it will look absolutely beautiful uh and we need to get some stud hoppers i might have to order more of those particular piece uh, and then yeah so it is looking very nice i think this works really well under there i just realized i kind of oofed myself because i need to i need to get down there so chances are I'm going to have to, you know, pop this stuff off. Like, obviously, I built this wall here. Uh, so I'm going to have to, you know, move, remove that once I get those bricks in. The, I got, I actually ordered uh, the maroon bricks as well as some other pieces, I think. Uh, yeah, the maroon, like, grill pieces. Uh, and, yeah, same deal on the other side. It's pretty much exactly the same, which is why I don't go crazy covering both sides. And we also have a nice structure under the bottom. It fits all very nicely. And, obviously, I know, don't worry about the holes here. This is all going to be covered by tiles and plates uh, but it's looking absolutely great and i think you guys did decide last episode that we should use the regular lego e-web instead of spending the extra 25 uh, it also just is easier because you know instead of putting 25 into one little piece i could build a lot more with 25 dollars or i could even get another figure who knows or another clone trooper because that's how much they go for so yeah now let's talk a little bit more about the plans Whoa, that is an epic mock. Okay, guys, so that about rounds it up for this episode in terms of this build. Now, the thing I want to work on next episode is the tiling. Now, I should get my brick orders in. Uh, I'm going to get un on the underside first, get all the little hard details, like, to get down there out of the way. And then after that, I really need to start consulting the official images. And I want to, you know, get all, like, the I want to get the floor pattern down really well. Um, so that'll be what we're going to be handling next episode, tiling it out. I'm going to probably order some stud hoppers, uh, just because I want room for them to stand. Uh, you know, that, that should be pretty good. And I'm just very, very excited to be working on that. And I want to hear your guys' suggestions, because they really help. Uh, a lot this week they were especially helpful. And as we get into the more detailed, intricate stuff, it is going to be 
immensely helpful. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, check out Studs Plus also because we are offering loads of exclusive content. We are giving out pretty much weekly videos. We are doing live streams I request. If you want to have a conversation with me, you can. It's only five bucks a month. We're running even a giveaway right now for Ahsoka vs. Maul uh, Duel on Mandalore set. Uh, that's coming out in August. And just so much more. So if you guys want to come and join it, it will absolutely be awesome. It will help out the channel a ton. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.